One bite or two? One. Brussels, finally. We're in Brussels and we already have a, what kind of waffle are we dealing with here? Yeah, so this is a liege waffle. So you can get two different types of waffles here in Belgium. So one of them is the liege waffle, which is this one that we have here. So it has like little bursts of sugar. Sugar like, crystals. Cr sugar crystals, yeah, inside of it. So it gives it like a super crunchy, like awesome texture. And we have these in the Netherlands, but they're hot here, so they're even better. And then the other one that we're going to find later is is a Brussels waffle that is unique to Brussels where we're at right now and it's more of like what you think of like a Belgian waffle which I was told doesn't actually exist so we're going but to find I, but I've had them right America but oh. we're going to find the Brussels waffle which doesn't have the sugar crystals and looks more like I said the traditional Belgian waffle so we're in oh, one wow. of the, the little parts of the, the Christmas markets yeah it's, it's crunchy oh. or there's a bunch of Christmas markets or at least a few here in Brussels and we just walked out of the parking garage right into like an ice skating rink in this little market that seems to have a lot of like Mexican themed foods like tacos tacos and nachos churros churros and... yeah how is it um it's okay you can get these with a bunch of toppings too, which we just went lo-fi. You can get it with whipped cream and ice cream and chocolate sauce and sugar and yada yada. But I'm partial to waffles. I like these. I'm sure we'll have another one before the day is out of the liege type waffles. Please, look at all the, okay, look at the Christmas trees and the, oh my God. It's so cute here. Are you, did you just have a moment? Well, yeah, I love Christmas, so. You know, I was going to say that people who don't travel don't get to experience stuff like this. Like, I didn't know that Brussels had a bunch of French influence and looks like you're in Paris. Like, it's just, I don't know, stuff you appreciate when you get to travel and see things yeah, like you this. Yeah, like, you super lucky. I think I want to be on the vlog. Yeah, you did, fucker. <laughs> I'd just like to point out that the lovely Katrina is telling me Belgian waffles don't exist, and yet, there's literally a you know a place selling them. Lies, lies, conspiracy. I need time on shoe. Because you know who comes here? Americans, and they know what Belgian waffles are. We haven't made it to the big Christmas market yet, so I say let's go do that. Let's get some wine. You get some, some wine. I'll get fries. some hot chocolate get fries. Some fries. Food. And yeah, so let's, let's eat see the market. Food, basically. This is more like Germany in that they sell a lot of like little goodies and like... Well, and that you just have like, oh, here's a random Christmas market with stalls. Like, you didn't get that um, wherever the fuck we just were. Where were we? The other B word. If you watched our last video, we were in Bruges and we were not super impressed by the Christmas market. It was kind of eh. Yeah, Christmas market. It was small, not a lot going on. Then there was a little teeny on. tiny one around there, but... Brussels is better. Brussels is more like what we've seen in Germany, in Austria, what all the other vloggers have shown us. <laughs> <laughs> so we're headed towards the main market. Hot sausage? I want to look at this hot sausage situation over here. Oh god, the mayonnaise. Ooh, it smells good. It looks fucking good. We're gonna get one of these. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually very excited about this. We haven't seen like hot sausages like this yet. What is going on? My dog would be having a fit right now with all the noise. <laughs> I don't want to be over dramatic, but there's a bunch of loud noises, <laughs> like really loud noises and a bunch of police like headed down that way. And, like loud noises that sound like gunshots. Now, Belgium's about to play Morocco in the World Cup. That's yeah. happening like right now. We timed that perfectly. And so that's probably all it is, is just people celebrating or getting excited, but a little frightening. Well, when you see 20 police officers create like a human barrier and then start running towards where the noises are coming from, it's a little concerning, but we still want to get sausage before we have to run for our Must lives. Be, so. But we're going to go the other way. <laughs> yeah. See, Do you hear that? Okay, this is probably not good. All right. Okay. <laughs> I don't think there's violence breaking out. I have a sausage. I put ketchup on mine. She does not, Katrina does not go for the ketchup. There are flashing lights now down there. Man, this is so good. Like this is worth coming to Christmas markets just for these. 
Like for real though, I need some wine. <laughs> It's so interesting to walk around and you hear French on one side and then you hear Dutch on the other side and then you hear English. Okay, where the fuck is all the wine? Like, for real. That's hot. Not us. S'il vous plaît. Does it get any better? Blue wine and some fried dough. What happened? I may have had a little powdered sugar incident. Oh no, it's all over my jacket. Uh, <laughs> donut reviews with Katrina, but not a donut. Fried dough nonetheless. I mean, it's a it's dough in the shape of a nut. Yeah, I mean, they called them beignets, so. And they made them fresh for us. Like, we had to wait a couple minutes to have them come out, so that's a good sign. They're super hot and beautiful. I mean, it's like the simplest things. Like this, it's just like perfection. I'm gonna eat the whole time. Did you bite off too much? Never. Is it hot? It's really hot, yeah. It's really good though. Like it doesn't taste greasy. So I think that's the problem with this fried dough ball sometimes is like the grease isn't hot enough, so it just tastes like oil. But they've nailed it. Good job. Oh, I think this is better than the waffle that we had earlier. Oh, the popo. Yeah, 10 out of 10, would recommend. Here, you wanna try one? Okay, that's all you get. <laughs> one bite or two? Thanks. I think it's interesting that crazy, mentally insane people sound somewhat more like dignified speaking French. <laughs> That's very true. Like that guy was nuts. And he like, was nuts. He needs some help, but like he sounded very, you know, like profound in whatever he was saying. Yeah, totally. And whoever he was saying it to. Yeah. It's I don't tough know out there. Drinking blue wine on the street, by the way. I'm not sure if that's frowned upon or not. I don't think they care. I don't think they give a shit. It's quite, there's less of a Puritan influence in Europe overall, I've noticed. Yeah. How did you get wine up your nose? I what shot, are you doing? Like, that last drink get, and it, get a hold of yourself. I've only had one, but I bet they have wine here too. It's just like we walk around a corner and there's more Christmas market. There's this amazing carousel. Kind of, kind of creepy. Some of it. But I like it. Though. I like it. Very steampunk. It's good. This giant, beautiful church is lit up with like looks like purple lights. Like, yeah. There's more waffles, I'm shocked. Probably some chocolate shops. Oh look, chocolate shops. There's a Ferrisville somewhere, we'll find it. Okay, this is like one of the prettiest Christmas markets I've been to this year. <laughs> this is uh, quite, quite the Christmas market. It's really pretty and it's not too crowded yet. I mean, it's raining and well, Belgium's and the, playing in the World Cup. Oh yeah, that's right. This is the perfect time to be at a Christmas we've, market. We've, we've timed this really well, but it's not raining so much that it's annoying. We're annoying. Vloggers are annoying. So what? So this is a Brussels waffle, not a Belgian waffle, not a Liege waffle, not a Sucre waffle. It's a Brussels waffle. It's very airy, it's crispy on the outside. Almost twice the cost of the Liege waffle, I don't know why. It does not have much flavor to it. If there wasn't sugar on this, I'd be really bummed. It's okay. Oh no. It's okay. Oh, oh, it's cold now. I mean, I don't hate it. Oh my god, really? Like, where am I right now? It's very eggy. It 
tasting. Is that you know, why I don't like it? But you know what though? This would actually be pretty good with some maple syrup. Like that's what this needs because with the liege waffles, you have the crystals of sugar, so you don't need that sweet maple syrup flavor. People are getting these. Oh look, it's falling apart. People are getting these with crying in Christmas markets. Anyways, people are getting these with chocolate and strawberries and whipped cream. I love that you have powdered sugar all over your face right now. So cute. I love how we say we don't like something and yet we will continue to eat the entire thing. Well, I might like it more if you eating it more. It was also five euros for one of these waffles. It's true. So. Katrina is quite impressed by a animatronic moose. I like moose, and that's he blinks. Look at his eyelashes. Oh my god! If they had mold wine, I would support them and get some mold wine. But I don't think they do. I think it's just hot chocolate and coffee. There's an alligator trying to escape. Hurry! Oh, I feel bad for the alligator. And you also said on the way over here, you were bummed because there was nothing we could climb up. You couldn't force me up any stairs. So yeah, there's no lookout or churches or anything to climb but up But we here. still can go up way high. How? Yeah. For We're in the middle of a Ferris wheel story. Five seconds and then you would stop. And then you would keep going and then you stop. And then you would stop. And the last time I was up there, I think it was like the 20 mile per hour winds like on the ground. And then you have another second Ferris wheel. Yeah, there's a picture of me somewhere like this in a little cab because I thought it was going to fly off. And I'm going to be stuck in there and drown. How were you again pool. in the picture? <laughs> Do you get the feeling that this Ferris wheel is a big commercial for the lottery? Yes. But I'm okay with it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you thought this was enclosed. I did, because, you know, from however many feet away. <laughs> this is not enclosed. It seems like it would be enclosed. But that's okay. We've never been in a Ferris wheel together. We haven't. First time. Wow, it's really pretty. This is a good idea. And you didn't have to walk up any stairs, so. Was oh I... my god, this is high. <laughs> not afraid of heights, all right. You can taste that cheese in there. It just needs a little bit of seasoning. Some kind of cut up meat. It's like the thing to get in Belgium. It's pretty good. What's it called? I don't know. Hot potato? Yeah, hot potato. <laughs> Con carne. It's good. It's hot and at this point, take anything to make me yeah, warm. Alright, that's like fantastic. <laughs> Like, I'm gonna have to learn to make this because this is just top notch. Cheesy potatoes with like chunks of bacon. Yes. Yeah, this is really great. It's getting really cold and windy out here though, and it's cooling the food down, so we're gonna eat this. You're just drinking her wine, she doesn't care. I don't care. Two thumbs up. That was only one. Wow. See, now I'm like, it's dark, we need to stay later because everything's gonna be lit up and it's so pretty. And there's a pony. Now it's prettier. <laughs> Brussels. Yeah, I had a good day. 
gorgeous. Finally got Christmas market experience. Let's come, let's come back when it's warmer. Yeah, way warmer. Yeah. Okay.